Okay, so this is a difficult level question uh, related to finding the remaining principle. So we have a situation where um, this guy borrowed $1,120,000 as a mortgage to buy a cottage. So the initial terms of the mortgage were 30 years, 7% um, per annum compounded semi-annually, and uh, the monthly rate, the effective monthly rate's already been given to us at 0.575%. Uh, we know that the monthly payments initially were $7,376.32. And we also know that five years have gone by, and the interest rates suddenly went up to 11%. So given this change, what are the new monthly payments that um, Mohammed's going to have to make? So recall that the new monthly payments uh, can be calculated with a financial calculator. So to Calculate monthly payments. We need we need the following terms. We need interest. We need number of periods. And we need the present value or the value of the mortgage now. Let's review the given information that we already have. So we have the interest rate already. We have 11% compounded semi-annually. It's not in monthly terms yet, but we can easily convert it to monthly terms just with a few calculations. We have the number of periods. Um, how? Well, in the beginning of the mortgage period, um, the initial term was 30 years, and five years have gone by. So difference between 5 years and 30 years, 25 years remaining. And we can easily convert that to months by multiplying it by 12. What is the present value of the mortgage now? Um, well, that's the remaining principal. That's something we actually don't know. So we're going to go ahead and calculate the remaining principal before we can go ahead and calculate the new monthly payments. So to solve this, first we're going to have to calculate the remaining balance. How do we go ahead and do that? Well, at any time over the life of the mortgage, the remaining principal of the mortgage is just the present value of all the cash flows of the monthly cash flows that you're paying. So again, we're going to use a financial calculator to do this. Um, we're going to put in our initial terms. So we're not going to change the interest rate yet. So we're going to have I equal to 0 0.575. N is going to be equal to 30 minus 5. So 30 years have gone by, meaning that 25 years remaining on the mortgage. And we're going to multiply by 12 to make sure that we're doing it in monthly terms. And that's going to be equal to 300. So the monthly payment, the initial monthly payment, we also know we have 7,376 and 32. We're going to put all this information to our financial calculator and we're going to hit compute present value. And it's going to give us a present value of $1,053,139.25. So what does that mean? After paying this mortgage for five years, he's paying $7,300 a month. Um, after paying five years, he still has one million and fifty-three thousand dollars remaining on this mortgage. So step two is we need to make sure that we have everything in monthly terms. So the number of periods easily converted into monthly terms. Present value of the mortgage now we already have doesn't need any conversion. We do have the interest rate stated to us in semi-annual compounded terms. So we're going to go ahead and convert that to monthly. So you follow the process for converting the APRs stated in uh, semi-annual terms to monthly terms. First step is 
to find that I, which is defined as APR divided by 2. So we have 11 divided by 2, 5.5 percent. From that, we calculate the effective annual rate given to us as 1 plus I squared minus 1, 1.054. And that gives us the annual rate, so then from the annual rate, we can actually derive the monthly rate. That's 11.3025. So the effective annual rate here is 11.3025%. And we're going to convert it to a monthly rate using our formula, 1 plus EAR to the power of 1 over 12, and 12 here denotes um, the frequency of our compounding, 12 periods, because of 12 months. And we have 0 0.8963. So the monthly interest rate is 0.8963%. Finally, we can compute the new payment. So we have everything we need to find the new monthly payment. We have our I, we just calculated it in step two, so 8963. We have the present value of our mortgage, that's just the remaining balance on the remaining principal on the mortgage. 1,053,139.25. The number of time periods, again, we had 30 years initially. Five years have lapsed, so we have 30 minus 5. We're going to convert it to months, so times 12. And that gives us 300. And based on all this information, you just hit Compute Payment on your financial calculator. And the payment, the new payment is equal to $10,136. So given the increase in interest rate, his monthly payments are going to go up from 7300 to 10136